What up, everybody? Let me get to the spot. Hey, everybody. What is going on? This is day 59 of the 100 Day Challenge here on the Plan Your Greatness TV channel. And the hashtag today is Reverse Engineer. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's let the Facebook story time algorithm take over in three, two, one. There we go. All right, we are back here at day 59 of the 100 day challenge. Dang, one day away from day 60. Uh, one, 100 day challenge, Plan Your Greatness TV. And the hashtag again is reverse engineer. Now, how did I come up with that one today? Well, that was inspired by a conversation that I had with my daughter but before I had that conversation with my daughter, I had been seeing on social media, specifically Instagram and YouTube, where it's becoming popular to do a rant about inflation. Prices too high, rents too high, gas too high, everything is too high. So people have been compiling these compilations of just people complaining about the state of affairs here in the country that is just too high um, to live and just the cost of living. All right. First and foremost, all your all those ladies, and that's all I saw. There, there, there were some guys on there, but the guys were like uh, commenting on the complaints. But it's, it seems like it's very popular for the women to be complaining. And I have my thoughts on that, but I'll I'll leave that alone. But more specifically, they're right. They are absolutely right. Based on the amount of money and the jobs that they were talking about, what they were doing and how they were living, yeah, they don't make enough money. So not necessarily that the prices are too high. You just don't or they just don't make enough money for them to, you know, for them to be able to live the way that they want to comfortably live. And so now this brings me to my daughter. I'm having a conversation with her now. My daughter has two jobs, two average minimum wage jobs. She doesn't want to work for me in the store. She doesn't want to work in my tax office. Go figure. So she wants to have her own little job and make her own little way. And I said, okay. I said, but sweetie, understand. The reason why those ladies are complaining is if they were to take themselves and put themselves onto the market, you know, the marketplace, the job marketplace, the skill marketplace, they wouldn't be able to garner much more than what they are complaining about right now. So what do they do? And so I'm asking my daughter this, what do they do? What do you do? Well, what we're going to try to do is intercept that whole process that's coming down the pipe because all the things that you want to do, and I'm saying this to my daughter, that you want to do in life, Realistically, you need to be making about $100,000 a year. If you want to travel and see the world and make an impact and be able to do all those things. I told her, and I told her this years ago because we did this little formula. And I said, basically, sweetie, you need to be making about $100,000 a year. So you've got three options. The way that you can get to that $100,000 is either one, go the education route. There are, and in my opinion, there's seven particular areas of education if you want to go to, that to go to college, that's going to get you out of a program and you're going to be into that. And that's not counting the trades. And in the trades, you know, HVAC, motorcycle repair, auto repair, all those jobs are in high demand because, you know, as much as we're going to this technology-based world, somebody needs to fix the stuff. You know, doctors are always in demand because you need to fix the people. Repair people are going to always be in demand because you're going to need to fix the machines. All right. So I said, so you're either going to go to school and get a high level of education in a particular area so you can you can make your money that. way. The other one is go into the trades, go into a skill, go go learn a very specific skill. And I actually throw nursing in there because it's a short route. It isn't you know, you can go and go to nursing school and then take the test, you know, unless you want to go a BSN like my, like my sister, 
that's another higher level, but that's in the education category. So you've got high levels of education, you got going to a skill or a trade school, and the other one is take the time to find a business. Maybe some skill that you have that's unique to other people, or you go find a company you can work for, learn the skills, work your way up through that, sales in some, some way, shape, or form, you go that route. Because if you don't go that route, and you think you're just going to get at some job that's one of these jobs that can be replaced by a machine or, or another person, it doesn't have a lot of value in it, you're going to always stay in, stay in that same space. So more education, more skills through trade or trade or something, or a, some sort of business. Because the minimum wage is not going to take you where you want to go. And that's what's happening with these people online. They're complaining that they don't have the skill set to then put themselves on the market and ask for a higher wage. So now you're asking for an employer to pay you more money when you don't bring enough value to the job to be compensated in that, in that department. So again, back to the conversation I'm having with my daughter. If you, if you look at the, the landscape of the world and you say, this is, what I, this is how I want to live, then it becomes very easy. It becomes a mathematical equation to say, this is how I want to live, so these are the things that I have to do in order to live that way. And if you do that, the formula is easy and you're planning your own greatness. All right? So I'm going to leave you with what I leave you with every day, and that is plan your greatness. You know why? Because no one else will. I will see you all tomorrow.